Good morning, this is Gary with CloudNet 360 and in today's morning marketing video, I'm just going to teach you how to make simple graphics. Now there's a big difference between some really complex or visually stunning design and graphics that you need just to make video covers, just to put ads out, and you know, there's a whole bunch of things that you can actually do yourself if you have just a little bit of an eye for design. Now I am not a designer by any stretch of the means and I will tell you straight up that when I want something that looks really good, we go out and we hire designers. But when I just want to make a cover for a video, when I want to do something that is simple, I don't want to take the time to go and hire a designer. I just want to get it done. I want to get the video up and I want to get it posted and move it along. So a couple of the tools that I use, one, I use Camtasia, which is what I am shooting this video on. And then two, I like to use Snagit. And Snagit is a very simple image editor that I'll use oftentimes in place of Photoshop, mostly because Photoshop is so powerful that it's hard to use and it takes a lot of work and effort to know how to use it. And I can actually do more things with Snagit because it's, well, it's simpler and the functionality just works in a way that I can understand it without having to go layers deep and you know take the time to learn such a powerful program like Adobe Photoshop. But there's a couple things that you can do to become more designer-ish. And there's a couple things I've done and learned over the years to make some pretty decent looking graphics. So here I'm just going to open up Snagit. In this image, this happens to be a screenshot of our software. And we use this all the time in order to communicate because in this case, we had a typo right here and we were missing a P. It's just a lot easier to draw an arrow on a screenshot than it is to describe to someone what screen the typo exists, where it is, what it is, etc. It's also a very handy tool for working and communicating with other members on your team. But like I said, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Snagit to create graphics. And here's a very simple YouTube cover that was created. And all we did was buy stock images. We put text in, we added our logo, and that's it. And the other thing you'll notice is that it's also been resized to 1280 by 720. And that's important because you have to have the right size to match your video. You have to have the right size that is appropriate for YouTube or LinkedIn or for Facebook, wherever you might be posting this cover. So let me show you exactly how I go about creating these simple graphics by buying stock imagery and then editing these images with Snagit. So one of the places I like to grab images from is 123RF. There's a lot of different image places that you can buy from. The key is buy your images. Don't go out and steal them off Google. It's going to come back and bite you. These things are so cheap that you can just buy whatever you need. You get a huge variety and you never have to worry about someone coming back and claiming copyright against you and filing a lawsuit or fining you or whatever the case may be. Very cheap, just go buy them. You get a huge variety and it takes all the worry off your plate. Now in this case, I may want to find, let's say a soccer themed graphic. So I'll just come into the search engine and I want to see a soccer goal. And I'm going to take this one very quickly. Now the reason I'm showing you this is because there's a couple steps that I like to do before I actually buy an image. First of all, look at the credits, okay? These credits are about a dollar a piece. Now on most images in 123RF, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, ten credits, or one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. It's actually a little different. It's not exactly a dollar per credit, but it's close enough for argument's sake. What you have to watch out for are the images that are actually 40, 50, 200 credits because you can get in the habit of buying these images and not looking at the credits. And the next thing you know, you've just spent 40, 50 or $100 on an image. But even before I buy this image, I like to make sure that it's actually going to work for me. So what I do is I click on the image. I come back into Snagit and I want to capture this image. And we'll put it into our editor. Now the first thing I've got to do is get this thing 
sized correctly so that it fits a YouTube format. In this case, I want to get it to 1280 by 720. So the first thing I do is I fix my dimension in one direction. So I'm going to come back in and resize this image and I'll put it in at 1280 and hit the resize button. Okay, so now I'm at 1280 and you can see it's by 852, which still isn't going to work. So I need to see if I can edit this image and crop it down and still have it look the way I want it to look. So we'll come into crop. We'll just shrink it down this way a little bit. We'll take a little off the bottom. And I'm going to come back and I don't want to take any more off the bottom, so I'll take a little more off the top. And you see how my numbers are changing. And when I get it to 720, I just release. And again, you can see it down here, 720. And click the crop button. And when I look at this image, it still looks like the original image. It's close enough. I've removed material, but it doesn't take away from the overall effect of the image. But there's another step that I like to do before I buy these because you never know how these images are going to work until you do the complete layout with your text. And I'll show you why this can be a problem. So if I come in here and I create my text, and I'm going to go with white text, no outline, and I just want this to be in one line, so I'm going to resize it. and then move it around. In this particular case, this isn't horrible, but it's really not good either. One of the things you have to watch out for, for example, in this image, I have a drop shadow on it. Now if I take it away, all of a sudden my white text starts to wash out on this light background. Okay, so that's going to make it harder to read. Now the other thing I don't like about this image is it has these little globes or whatever they are in the background and it distracts from my text. It's like my text is just pasted on top of it. It doesn't look right. So I'm going to try and move this down here and get more contrast and see if this works. Now this isn't horrible, but I still actually don't like the way these bars, I don't even know what these are, but they're sticking out of my word this but it's not a deal breaker yet. So let's see if I can maybe shrink this down just a little bit and move it outside of those bars. Okay, because the headline doesn't necessarily have to be centered, sometimes you don't want it centered. Sometimes you want it more to the left, more to the right. Um, there's just a lot of ways you can go with it. Now the other thing I wanna do is I wanna get my logo in there. And now you can see my logo is in the tray and all I'm going to do is just drag it and just drop it into my image. Okay, and I'm going to position it. I can shrink it down a little bit. And I don't like it there. I don't like it there. Maybe it would work here, here. Uh, you see, this image, while it seems to be a good image, by the time you add in your text and try to find a spot for your logo, to me it just doesn't look right because no matter where I put my logo, unless I put it in an odd spot, it competes with these background thingies. I don't even know what these things are, but these are the sorts of things that you've got to look for when you're buying these images. And this is why I like to go through these steps and take a Snagit image and configure my image with my headline or my text, my subtext, whatever it is that I'm going to put into this image. I like to put my logo in. I like to see how it's going to look before I commit my money. Now again, I know it's only three or four dollars, but why spend three or four dollars just to throw it away when you can use Snagit, take the image, evaluate it, and then determine whether you like the picture or not. Now, if you like the picture, once you have this, it's very simple to download the image, resize it, crop it just the way you've done it already, 
And then I'll show you why this is really simple. Let's just pretend that I'm actually buying this image now. So this will be my good image without all of the watermarks and things that make it distracting. Okay. Now again, if I were to buy this image, I would just resize it. I'd crop it just the way I've done before. And now all I need to do is click on my text and copy and paste it in. I just used the keyboard shortcut there. And the same thing here. Whoops. I could just take this because it's already resized. I don't even have to think about how to resize it again. Paste it. Just move it. And now I have a finished image. This is an extra step. But I can't tell you how many times you'll buy an image that you think is going to be perfect, but once you start using it, you realize it's not as perfect as you thought. So all you have to do is go to 123RF, find the image that you like, buy it. Of course, you would download it. Before you do that, you'll click on it, take a screenshot of it, bring it into Snagit, manipulate it, resize it, put your text in, put your images in, make sure it's exactly the way you like it, and then go back to 123RF, buy the image, and do the exact same editing, and then just save it. Now, before I leave, I wanna show you one more trick because this is something that, unless you are from a graphics background, you probably don't know what the word flatten means. And this one threw me off for a long, long time till one of the graphics guys in our office taught me this trick. And you see how this image is movable, okay? If I click on, now, before I do that, if I do this, you see, it doesn't know what to do. This is on top of this or that's on top of that. Um, but if I flatten this image, see, I can flatten one image, the one that's designated, and now it doesn't move. You see how it's now part of the whole image? And now this image, anything I put into here now is on top of that, okay? Now when I come in here, I can also do flatten all, and now these images are fixed. So that is often something you need to do because Otherwise, when you try to add other things into this, they will be on the wrong layers or you'll start clicking on things and you won't be able to move them the way you want them to be moved. You won't be able to position them the way you want them to be positioned. So you need to flatten these graphics that you add into it. Just know that once you flatten it, that it becomes part of this image. Of course, if you make a mistake, you can always do a undo and now this is no longer flattened and you can move it. Okay, so those are the simple steps to create simple graphics using purchased images and an easy to use editor. Again, I like Snagit. There are other things that will work as well. I just think this one works better than the other types of products out there in this category. And for 35 or what is it, 40 bucks? I don't even know I've been using this for so long. Let's see, what does it cost? Well, you get a free trial. Buy now, okay, $49, $50. So it's actually a good investment. I've been using this thing forever and I use Camtasia for these tutorials. I use Snagit for doing communication and for creating graphics. And if you work with any sorts of team members, if you're working with contractors, if you're working with other people and you know, I don't care whether they're sitting right next to you. Creating an image is just so much easier to explain things than explaining things. And also we use our project manager constantly and it is a lot easier to create a task, to describe a task when you can post a title, post a short description and put the graphic into the project manager as part of that task. So it just makes your work life easier when you're working on these sorts of projects. This is Gary with CloudNet360. I hope you enjoyed this little morning marketing tip on how to create graphics. And if you have any tips and tricks about how to create easy graphics, well, leave them in the comments below. 
And remember to like and subscribe to get more of these types of marketing videos. This is Gary with CloudNet360, helping you sell more, faster. <music>